So, I'm done on real roll this week for British Classics. And I think we'll say this is a British Classic, because it's rear-wheel drive. It's got a whopping great big three-litre engine in it. A bit like that one. And it's, it's saloon-shaped. It's proper car-shaped. They've got terrible-looking leather interior. that never fared very well, but yeah. It's, um, it's walnutty. It is a proper Jag, because it's rear-wheel drive, I think. Boot spoiler as well. I say it's three litre, I don't actually know. My friend that owns a garage up the road just said, I've got a S-type Jag, it's rear wheel drive and it's petrol. Do you want it? I said, yes, so I've just bought it. Oh, I don't know if they're worth anything or not. They do tend to rust under those sills. My ramp's knackered so I can't actually look. But um, what engine is that then? <clears throat> oh, well, it's a V6 of some sort. I think they did a 2.5. And a three litre, I'm not sure which this is. No way of knowing, really, unless I do an MOT and tax check, which I'll do in a bit. <coughs> but yeah, I just said take my money, because regardless of anything else, we can use that as a drift day car. But it might be a bit too nice to do that, and it's still MOT'd, so I'm waiting for the logbook to turn up. Yeah, I'll give it a spin in a sec, see how it goes. Put the seatbelt on, just in case it rolls over. Yeah, cheers for letting me know. It is good to have your own personal little field. Oh no, hang on. <laughs> it's not good that we have to have traction control on. What do we do here? Hold that button down. Yep. Right, here we go. Let's give it a spin, I'll stick it in second. They do go beautifully. Absolutely. These sideways are very controllable, stay out of the wet stuff. Ooh. And away from the bloody river. Good steering lock, tons of power. Don't hit the dog. No. <clears throat> right, Toby, Toby, hop in. Let's try up the road. Hi, tap, tap. Well, we'll try on a sensible drive up the road now. We've got Toby in the back, so he doesn't like us thrashing about too much. The steering wheel, I think, are electrically adjustable. That's it, move that a bit closer. That's better. So I've just checked, it's a three litre, which is fantastic. They have got tons of power and they just keep on going. They're not a bad car, really. For a big Jag to be rear wheel drive and affordable, this is probably your best bet. They're still quite cheap. There's still a few about, but they do rust out quite badly. This thing's done 143,000 miles, which isn't too bad. The last one I had done 53,000 miles. Every warning light was on it and both cells were completely rotted out on it. So mileage isn't always or a bad thing on these it's sort of just i think what day they were put together it was a friday afternoon and they got put together badly and if not they were put together quite well it seems to drive well there's no nasty noises again oldish blokes had it too old to drive now even the aircon controls are in fahrenheit so it is geared up for people over 50 with red trousers pretty much i might keep it i'm gonna get rid of that rover 75 i bought the other day up. Toby wants his nose out the window. But yeah, we'll get uh, get out of the village and open her up a bit and see how it goes. Temperature gauge is good. There is an engine light on. Probably turn that off in a bit. Right, we go. Here we go. Oh yes. Progressive, nice acceleration. Oh, Toby, we're gonna have to open one of these windows and get all eight on. Oh, it's really 
well. It does drive good. Accelerates well, goes all the gears. Just gonna get it ramp fixed and see how rusty it is. started to go that's kind of the end of it for it so just here we got put it in sports got traction control off hold on to